following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Azrael Drake. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see. And she's obviously proud of what she's been able to accomplish over the course of her career as well she should be. I can respect that, Michael. She clearly has worked hard to get where she is, but she also has to remember that she has a long way to go. The head baddie in charge is in the building. And from Fontana, California, Mia Yeah. Michael, you were there at the May Young Classic when the Full Sail crowd chanted, please sign Mia. What was that moment like? Unlike anything I'd ever experienced in my career here in WWE, not only was it proof that the WWE Universe is in charge, it was proof that Mia Yim's heart... Here we go. Oh, my. Down with authority. The determined Mia Yim entering this match with a chip on her shoulder and veteran experience under her belt. And looking around here tonight, guys, I'm seeing a lot of cheese heads. Quite the interesting choice of headwear, I'd say. Oof. Oh, what a forearm to the back of the neck. Scottish sickle. Reverses, can she take advantage? Mia Yim is living proof that hard work and non-stop determination pay off. It took nearly a decade to get to WWE, and at no point did she give up. I remember the second Mae Young Classic after her barn burner of a quarterfinal match against Tony Storm. The WWE Universe chanted for Triple H to please sign Mia. Even the COO of WWE couldn't deny Mia Yim's talent after that performance. Mia Yim can be a bit of a show-off in the ring, which can be good for playing mind games with her opponent, but can also become a disadvantage if she's not careful. Her opponent would be smart to use that cockiness to her advantage to bait Yim into making a mistake. It's a risky strategy, though, Corey. Mia Yim can back up her cockiness in that ring, and it won't be easy to... All the way for the top! Wow! Karana! She's losing some steam now. She may have underestimated the opposition she'd face tonight. Back now inside the ring. Here she goes. All the way from the top rope. For the win! And frustration has to be mounting as she kicks out again. Very nice. Jeez. She's gaining momentum here, guys. When she gets in attack mode, look out. And here we go from behind. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Nasty kick to the face. Shoulders down for the count. And she gets the shoulders up. She came here to fight, not lay down. Stomping down. What a throw. A striking blow. Very difficult position to be in right now. Power bomb! She's calling her out. Oh, here it comes! Oh, and a double foot stomp for the victory here! 
It's been a hard-hitting affair here tonight. These competitors are going to... There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. She's taking care of business. The superstars in this one got after it pretty good from the opening bell. Can't complain about the effort, technical proficiency, or result here. Here is your winner, Azrael Drake. The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. Well, that was indeed a great match, and I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is.